when Kobe Bryant died, a piece of me died. And as I look at this arena and across the globe, a piece of you died. Or else you would be here. Those are the memories that we have to live with and we learn from. I promise you, from this day forward, I will live with the memories of knowing that I had a little brother that I tried to live in every way I could. I said, Kobe, there's no I in team. And Kobe said, I know, but there's an in me in that You know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent. Kobe Bryant, the legendary NBA star, is dead tonight. His adorable 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, known as GJ, also dead tonight. Seven other people, a, a baseball coach, a pilot, all dead. The helicopter they were traveling in crashed outside of Los Angeles. No word yet on why it crashed. But it went down and it caught fire on a hillside in Calabasas, California, about 30 miles Enjoy outside of the chaos, the That's organization, and uh, I would I'd like to so express our sincerest condolences to the Bryant family um, and everybody affected by the tragedy. <clears throat> As an organization, we're devastated. Our players are devastated. It's hard to talk about Kobe. Uh, Kobe Bryant was one of the, some of the greatest athletes of our world, of our this generation's athlete. You know, and I'll take it back to, to when I was a kid, being able to respect and look at a man like Michael Jordan and everything he meant to the game of, of basketball. And you know how many kids around the world tried to emulate Michael Jordan, to come out with commercials, I want to be just like Mike. And here comes a young kid straight out of high school to be able to get to the NBA and uh, just show us everything that we tried to do in the backyard to try to emulate arguably the greatest basketball player. But he put a stamp on this world, not just in basketball, but just as a whole. And just to have a man like that gone at such a young age, I told my wife that I was going to say this, and this message is, you know, to the Bryan family, and I'm sorry for your loss, but in my mom's household, man is mama forever. And I just want, you know, I'm sorry that I'm up here emotional, but that's the first time I had, I've heard anything about Kobe Bryant since his death. And since we were at the Pro Bowl, um, I had a lot of messages on my phone talking about Randy, you, you didn't take time out to give uh, to give Kobe his respect. 
But I didn't want to say anything live on national television because we didn't know if these things were true or not. Yeah. Right. So, and I and, and I really appreciate y'all giving me this platform. But man, when I say Mamba forever, I'm a big Michael Jordan fan. I really am. But when I say it's Mamba forever, man, I say that Kobe Bryant to me, man, you take politics out of professional sports. Kobe Bryant is the best and the greatest basketball player, and I'm not saying that since he's here. Anybody can check my resume. I love the game of basketball. Kobe Bryant, man, is the greatest basketball player. No disrespect to any other greats out there. But now that he's gone, I say it when he's here, the greatest basketball player that I've ever seen dribble basketball is Kobe Bean Bryant, man. God rest his soul. We, we saved the party. We said goodnight, and, of course, uh, Kobe went on to become a legend. Five NBA titles, two Olympic gold medals, 18 all-star appearances, one of the most brilliant and most respected players in NBA history. And when we'd run into each other over the years, we'd laugh about that night that we first met. <laughs> I'm really I'm laughing at all the good things that have happened since. I've been fighting I'm laughing at how much fun it was to raise kids. All the stupid mistakes we made trying to figure out how to be good dads. I never and Kobe had four daughters, goodbye, and I had two daughters. But maybe and today, he and one of his girls are gone. Do. But I think I, I knew Kobe enough to know that you he rose to any challenge by digging deeper and getting back to work. And so I let's honor Kobe, Gianna, and the other lives that were lost yesterday by following his example. Love your family, love your teammates, and outwork everyone else in the gym. Uh, not just on the basketball court, but off of it. Uh, how Boy, inspirational he was, how motivational he was in terms of really helping to instill in other people, uh, you know, just the tenacity and the focus on being all that you could be, never taking any shortcut. Thank you for the happiest year of my life. Thank you for the happiest year of my life. I could forgive myself I'm sorry for the ways that I used you and I could care less right we're all hurt we're all heartbroken but you know and when we're going through things like this the best thing you can do is lean on the shoulders of your family yeah we made each other from Sunday morning all the way to this point now I heard about Laker Nation before I got here last year about how much of a family it is I'm here to admit that you were my medicine. And that is absolutely what I've seen this whole week, not only from the players, not only from the coaching staff, not only from the organization, but from everybody. Everybody that's here, this is really, truly, truly a family. And I know Kobe and Gianna and Vanessa and everybody, thank you guys from the bottom of their heart, as Kobe said. Now, I know at some point we will have a memorial for Kobe, but I look at this, I look at this as a celebration tonight. This is, this is a celebration of the 20 years of the blood, the sweat, the tears, the broken down body, the getting up, the sitting down, the everything, the countless hours, the determination to be as great as he could be. Tonight, we celebrate the kid that came here at 18 years of age. Retired at 38 and became probably the best dad that we've seen over the past three years, man. Before we get to play, love y'all, man. Thank you Kobe is a brother to me, and from the time I was in high school to watching him afar, to getting this league at 18, watching him up close, all the battles that we had throughout my career, the one thing that we always shared is that determination to just want to win and just want to be great. And the fact that I'm here now means so much to me. I want to continue along with my teammates 
to continue his legacy not only for this year, but as long as we can play the game of basketball that we love because that's what Kobe Bryant will want. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out, but in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother.